place in the world to water all the plants on the earth. It's not possible. So the dew of heaven comes down. The rain of heaven comes down across every nation of the world. More than any waterworks company, electricity company, borehole, well, windmill system can ever do. More than any pump can do. And so when we look at the water well, when we look at the pump, when we look at the windmill, when we look at the, the, the laid out stand pipes and all that, we can see the limit of it. If the water table drops, there may be a problem. But there is no water table dropping in heaven. So the question of Jesus Christ to Philip needed Philip to answer that, Lord, physically, I think this is difficult, but with God, all things are possible. I know there is a realm of supply. I know there is a place of supply that never runs dry. So Jesus knew what he was going to do. He knew what he was going to do. And he asked that question. But Philip, like a lot of us, went into the seeing, hearing, touching, tasting, and smelling realm. Forgetting that life goes beyond that. That is why we dream at night. That's why sometimes we have an intuition. We just know that we know that we know. We can't really put our finger on it, but we know. And we are not being suspicious. We just know there's a deep-seated knowing. There's an intuitive communication that goes beyond verbal understanding. And so if we're able to raise the level of our understanding above just seeing, tasting, touching, smelling, and hearing, uh, we would access a higher realm. So when he asked him, where are we going to buy bread? He was Philip was out of bread. Where? No. There's no place open now. There's no place, even if the places are open, when will we go there? When will we make the order? When will they do? Because we'll clear their orders. They'll have to bake bread. It takes a long time to start the process to bake the bread, to take it out, to cool it down, to come and serve. It would, this thing would take till tomorrow morning. Meanwhile, the people need it now. So any physical place that could give quality, quantity at such short notice, never, not possible. That is why Jesus turned water into wine. That's why that miracle took place. Because physically it's limiting. So also your life, my friend. So also my life. And we must position ourselves for those divine opportunities and moments when God is just about to drop something upon your laps, making you a part of a miracle or a part of a great story. But if you say you can't, you can't. When we were building our, our church in Bacau, we had many times when it was possible to say, it is impossible. When we saw the plan, some people thought we were crazy. Some people thought we were super ambitious. Some people thought there is no, where will we ever get this kind of money? This will never be built. This is impossible. But all that is history. In fact, if we have to do again, we will do a bigger one. Why? Because we knew that it was not just left to us by ourselves. No company, no nation, no organization just by itself can say it can do everything. Because ladies and gentlemen, there are things you cannot pay for. There is equity you cannot pay for. You cannot pay for smiles. You cannot pay for joy. When somebody is defending your integrity and your good name in a place that you do not know, you cannot pay for it. You cannot pay for the sunshine. We cannot pay for water. You know, you cannot pay for that baby that runs into your arms after a tired day's work and says, Mommy, Daddy, you cannot pay for sleep. You cannot pay for the dew. We can't. So if we are going to quantify all the things that make us who we are, it's just not possible. Nobody can pay for it. Nobody. There are times when money is not the answer. A drowning man at the Atlantic Ocean, a billion dollars is no good to him. A Hummer Jeep is no good to him. What he needs is an outstretched hand from uh, a diver, from a coast guard rescuer and that is more than anything else a woman who is in labor and is going through pains and you know is in a life-threatening situation ladies and gentlemen a suite in Sheraton hotel is not the answer and so there are many things like that in life you cannot pay for thank you 
You cannot pay for I love you. You cannot buy a hug. And so there is a realm that we must always defer to God and say, God, this is what I know. This is how much I have counted. This is what I think is, it is worth. But I know this is not it. And the joy is that because God knows what he's going to do, an answer would come. So in our lives, let's defer more to the Jesus mentality than the Philip mentality. And um, that would help us. I'm going to stop here so we can stretch it again to the Andrew mentality, um, the accounting mentality. This is what we have, five loaves and two fish. He can't do it, so forget it. How many visions have died? How many visions have not even come alive? Because you looked at all you had and you thought, I can't do it. And then you saw somebody else doing it who had less than you had. It's not them. It's the supply that they connected to. Make sure you do that too. Until I come your way next week, this is Pastor Fob saying, have a good evening. God bless you. Good night. Respond right this week. It may just change your life. God bless you.